Hello and welcome to a hopefully quick video that I'm going to make. I got an email today to say the Yog Ventures beta was released to donators on Kickstarter and I thought I'd download it and give it a try and record it and see how we go. So I've already logged in, I guess there's only single player for now and we'll have a new game. Uh, and I will call myself Adam Crisp. I will leave the seed the same. Infinite World on Shadows. Okay. I've never played this. I have no idea what to expect. I think some of the screen sizes are a little weird. I'm now playing Gventures. Oh god. And I'm dead. Am I? Uh. Uh. Oh. There we go, okay, I had to escape, and ooh, this is, um, interesting. It's a little bit laggy. I've probably put it on too high a resolution settings, but... Okay! Uh, oh, I can jump. There are blocks. I can punch the blocks out, very Minecrafty. What does middle mouse do? Nothing. Right, okay. Oh, okay, I've fallen down the hole I just made. Uh, okay, this is pretty. Obviously, this is still um major work in progress. This is, as you can see, beta version 0 0.01. That looks like gold. Can I punch that? Oh, God. I really should have probably turned the graphic settings down. I'm going to see if I can do that from in-game. Options. No, can't do that in-game. Okay, let's... how do I access inventory? I... oh, okay. So I have a pickaxe, which is one. Am I picking up these blocks? Yes, I am. Some gold. Okay, I have no idea. I've got a bomb. Go on, I've got to try this. Uh, oh, run away! Oh, well, that was amazing. No. Uh, apparently, it says I've got one in my inventory, but I've got unlimited. Uh, oh, God. Mouse sensitivity. Okay. That, yeah. Not a great deal from that. Can you... Ah, right, okay. So you can select blocks and place them. It feels a little bit fiddly. It's not quite like... Um, well... That other very blocky game, <laughs> shall we say. Oh god, yeah, the mouse sensitivity is really strange. Oh, okay. I can... Sprint by... Pressing shift, can I? For a very limited amount of time. Can, oh, control... Ah, okay, I can hold control to access the mouse. Ooh, there we go. You can see all the different materials. Can I just pick one of the... Oh, go on. Material, TNT. Oh, I can place it. Yay! This is going to go horribly wrong. And then I have to hold control again. To, oh, God. I uh, wonder how you detonate this. These are just blocks at the moment. Oh, God. Right. Uh, okay. So you can change blocks to be steps or pillars or Ooh. balls oh, something minecraft does not have a tnt ball can i push it oh no he just wants to stand on top of it oh god how do i deselect it okay well you can see there that's all the different block types in the game at the moment which is quite a lot and you look at it uh, but do balls have physics has that ball moved? I don't think it has. I think it's just... Ooh, snaps it into position. Okay. That's okay for now. Oh, God. Okay, I selected a pickaxe as material. That's not gone well. Found a bug. Uh, oh, I'm called Honeydew. Okay. I have no... How do I see myself? Is it one of the F... Oh, God. F1 is help. Fly mode. First... Per oh, here we are. 
Oh, damn it, if I can just get that off the screen. Ah. Belt, cape, glasses, skirt. Right, okay. F1. F2, column or single build mode? F3, soundtrack, music track. Okay, so you can change the music. F5, third person. Oh, come on, this is going to be... Ooh, wrong button. Okay. Ooh. Ah, right, okay, so you hold... Right-click to move around. Ooh. Hello! What a very good-looking dwarf. Oh, I think... Oh, dear. Oh, no, it's okay. It's not great. Oh, dear. <laughs> Just getting a good look at his groin, it's fine. Zero is flashlight. Okay, this could be interesting. So zero is a flash Ooh! Oh god, it's very laggy. I've got two FPS, oh my god. I know my computer's bad, but really? Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's spawn a frug. Frug? Oh god, what's happening? Oh! Oh god, what's going on? Oh, why is this so sensitive? Oh! Okay, I think I'm gonna have to lower the settings. So, oh god! What? No! I'm back. This seems a lot less laggy now. I've changed it into uh, windowed mode. Let's spawn a through again, see what happens. Oh! Oh god! What the? What is he doing? Ow! What the? Get away! What? What is he doing? Oh! Oh god! What the? Uh. Oh! Oh, I've gone into first person mode apparently. Third person. This is very strange. Okay, let's try fly mode and get out of here. Oh! Is that... Oh. I think I am flying now. That frog thing was trying to kill me. Oh, I'm flying. Back into third person. Ah, there we go. Ah! I press F and... Ooh. Yep, falling to my doom. Okay, let's spawn a frog and lag horribly. Do I take damage? Yes, I'm down to one heart, and I'm dead. Ooh. Okay, I'm dead, but I can see... Mount oh my god, what the hell? Uh, Can I hit it? I don't think I can fight back. This is not good. I'm just going to repeatedly die. Do something! Ooh. There was a damage animation then. I'm back to full health though. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Um. Oh, oh my god. Yep, he's dead. <laughs> Ooh. That's quite serious. I'm so sorry. Oh god, I'm back. Okay, I'm just gonna have to. Oh god, F I don't know why it puts you into third person every time. Fly away! So that was very strange. So it does look like there is something up here. It's just a matter of getting to it. Let's try and dig up. Oh! Aha! Oh, that's better! So yes, I just spawned inside a giant mountain. When actually, there's all this terrain generated outside. There's a giant snowy mountain. Oh, lovely. These trees look nice. Can you chop down the trees? Oops, pressing the button to fly up and down. Okay, so you can dig the blocks around the trees. Oops, maybe you have to craft an axe or something. Future plans. But don't these trees look good? They look like trees. Oh, this isn't Minecraft now. I mean, let's be honest, there are obviously going to be certain parallels drawn. 
these hills look nice. It's nice that it's it's blocky, but it's not. And then there's like these snowy capped mountains. Nice looking forests and bushes in them. This looks very nice. Can I dig up a little plant or will it just float? No, it just floats. Okay, beta. Okay, let's go out of flight mode. And let's diggy hole. Oh god, diggy hole. Right, so it looks like the inside of hills and mountains and things are designed to have something generated under them. Uh, hello? Can I... Ooh? Ah, okay, so this black stuff looks like it's sort of bedrock. I can't go any further down. Oh. Well, that's a little disappointing. Would have been nice to go further down, but never mind. There we go. Switch to my pickaxe. Ooh. And dig up. Oh! It looks like day night cycles are in. Durr. Obviously. We have a nice big moon coming up. And a second moon over there. Behind that cloud. Or is that just a mysterious light? I don't know. The sun is setting over there. Ah. Huh. Well, that's very interesting. I will probably edit big chunks of this out, so if it does look a bit weird when you're watching, this is just meant to be a sort of brief overview of what's in the game at the moment. This is the first time I've played it. It's just a little play around, just to get an idea of the world and what's available. Never actually tried the different build modes. So there was column or single build mode. Ooh! Okay. Column build mode, everyone. Is there a... Ah, okay, that looks like that's the height limit of the world. Conveniently. So does that mean every block, every column will go up to that height? I seem to be stuck on that block now for some reason. Ah, I just had to control. Okay, so that just builds a giant pillar. That makes sense for column. I'm assuming then there's going to be other versions of that. So you can have like spheres, squares, rectangles, that kind of thing. So you can edit big chunks of ground in a single click. That would make sense. Okay, I think the last thing to do is have a quick look at the character customization. So here I am at the moment. Oh, I can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. I can just fly at the moment. Ah, okay. So yeah, pressing shift once enables run and I press it again to stop. Very good. Oh, and you can see my shadow down there. Hello, dwarf. Okie dokie. So, let's see. Ooh. Let's have a look at what customization options there are. Different belts. It's interesting. Or no belt. Boots. Ooh. Pointy boots. Dwarfy boots. Steely boots. Cape. Ooh. He looks a bit like Gimli. You can see they've put some work into things like this to make it a bit more interesting. I mean, hopefully when there's things like multiplayer, this is when this kind of thing comes into its own. Ooh! Sunglasses. <laughs> He's a cool dwarf. Gloves. Ooh! A few different types of gloves there. You've got your no gloves, your plain gloves. Uh, I can see how this might go. Helmets. No helmet. Ooh! Wingy! 
pointed hat. Gandalf hat. Yay! Goggles! Should we give him a Gandalf hat? Neck? Neck? Can't really see your neck, you've got a beard in the way. Shirts? A few different types of shirts available. Some wizardy one there. A few different roby looking shirty things. Or no shirt at all. Who needs a shirt? Different pauldrons for his shoulder. There's quite a lot of different options. They're certainly not skimped on this part anyway. What else is there? And a skirt. You can either have a skirt or no skirt. <laughs> and then, ah, okay. So you can change the body. Ooh! Ah! Okay, so there are different races as well, which are just called body at the moment. So it's like your human, your skinny human, your big human, your... what the heck? Not quite sure what that is. It's also just armed human, <laughs> your dwarf, your lady, uh, a very effeminate looking man <laughs> thing. I don't know. And you know me looking thing. Okay. So we'll go back to him. Got a big dwarf. Brows. Can't really see those very well with Gandalf's hat, but you can see some things just sticking out and then is this Oh Ah, can't see the hair. One moment. Helmet. Off. Hair. Yeah. There's quite, so there's quite a big choice again of different hairstyles. Ooh. It's getting very strange. Let's give him a quiff. It's quite cool. I assume there's a way to change the colour and stuff as well as the head. That just kind of changes your nose. Moustache. Ooh. Ah. Lots of different types of moustache and beard trimmings. Skin. Ooh. Ah, okay, so you can change if you've got armour, what colour your clothes are. Ah, there's quite a lot of different choices there. No way of changing the colour hair at the moment. <laughs> That's not important. And, oh yes, there's a way to remove the beard. How did I miss that? Any different types of beard. I've gone from dwarf to punk rocker. 17 easy steps. <laughs> Ooh, it's a big beard. I feel beards are going to be a focal part of the game. Or, no beard. Which, he has got a mouth. I thought that was creepy for a moment, but no, he has got a mouth. So you can obviously customise this to be however you want. If you want to be a dwarf, a human, a gnome, have a play around, and have whatever you like as your character. So you can't see your character hold things at the moment, even though you can select stuff. Maybe that's going to be in, maybe not. I assume weapons will be visible. Oh, there we go. Thank you for watching. It's now going daytime. Sorry, the editing is going to be rather shocking on this. But it was just meant to be a quick view. I'm just going to cut down loads of it, so it's going to jump around a bit. But you'll get a quick view of what the game is like so far. And hopefully as more updates come out, I will video it and share it with absolutely nobody. Because absolutely nobody will watch these videos. But there we go. There's a nice sunrise. As I float in midair. Goodbye!